Hey everybody, Sean here and I hope you're doing well. Today we'll address four questions. Number one, can someone fall from grace? Number two, can a believer fall from grace? Number three, how does someone fall from grace? And number four, does falling from grace mean losing your salvation? The verse that speaks of all this is Galatians 5, 4 that reads, You who are trying to be justified by the law have been alienated from Christ. You have fallen away from grace. So the answer to question one is yes, someone can fall from grace. The second question can be answered by looking at this verse in context. Paul is speaking to believers because he is referring to them as brethren. He's speaking to those that Christ has set free and is teaching them about walking in the Spirit. We can look at Galatians 2.4 where he refers to others as false brethren that have sneaked in among believers. These were Judaizers that were teaching you had to perform certain acts and follow laws in order to be right with God. Today, we'd call them legalists, people that teach that in order to be right with God, you have to perform according to their particular list of do's and don'ts. But once again, the people in Galatians 4 are referred to as brethren and are saved. To answer question number three on how someone falls from grace, this is also a simple answer. Galatians 5.4 tells us that those who are trying to be justified by the law have fallen from grace. This isn't about falling back into sin or sinning too much that causes someone to fall from grace. Paul spoke to them in Galatians 3 saying how foolish they were to think that they can be saved by receiving the Spirit and then think obeying the law was going to add anything to their salvation or pleasing God. I don't usually use the NLT version, but I do like the wording here. How foolish can you be? After starting your Christian lives in the Spirit, why are you now trying to become perfect by your own human effort? And that brings us to question number four. Does falling from grace mean losing your salvation? If we look at Galatians 5.4, we'll see many words used depending on the translation. Being alienated from Christ being cut off from Christ, being severed from Christ, being estranged from Christ, and the King James Version states this a bit different, Christ has become no effect unto you. If we look at the Greek, we see it can mean to make idle or inactive, to make of no effect, that is, totally without force. What do we have to operate in the Spirit? We have the Holy Spirit, and trying to do spiritual things in the flesh is never a wise thing to do. And we know that we are told the Holy Spirit will be with us forever. If someone was saved by God's grace through faith, then they are indwelt with the Holy Spirit, and He will be with us forever. And if for some reason they get tripped up into thinking that good works or following laws are going to make them any more saved or any more right in God's eyes, then scripture says they have fallen from grace. What it doesn't say is that they've lost their salvation. If that was the case, then Paul would be contradicting himself in Romans 8, where he says that absolutely nothing can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Or Ephesians 1 that says we are sealed with the Holy Spirit as our guarantee of our inheritance. Or 2 Timothy that tells us that even if we are faithless, he remains faithful and cannot deny himself. So even if you are someone that believes we can lose or surrender our salvation and have other verses to support your understanding, this verse is not saying that. These people have fallen from the present experience of grace through God's Holy Spirit in us. It's because of His Spirit in us that we enjoy His fruits of joy, peace, patience, etc. If someone is thinking they need to continually be following laws and doing works to stay in God's favor, then they may not experience those fruits. As the Greek says, we will be made inactive or of no effect. And that makes sense if we're walking in the flesh rather than in the spirit. I think it would be fair to say that this would be one way to quench or grieve the Holy Spirit in us. If someone did not get saved by the gospel of grace and from the beginning thought works were necessary for salvation, those people have not been saved. 
But anyone that has trusted in God's grace through faith in Christ's finished work on the cross has been saved. But returning to works or the law will not make you any more saved than you already are. And as scripture says, you will have fallen from grace and will experience the repercussions of that, but yet will still be saved. So with that being said, I'm sure there'll be many comments on this. So please leave those below. And until next time, take care and God bless.